Sea Ray played a very important role in the formation of Marine Max back in 1998. It was really a lot of independent dealers who had a common thread of being a Sea Ray dealer. In Gulfwind Marine, where I was from, we had the Sea Ray franchise. The combination of all those dealers, we put ourselves together to form Marine Max. The relationship over those years with the quality brand of Sea Ray and a Marine Max has been a real powerful thing together to help us grow the boating industry. Sea Ray has always been willing to listen and we listen to Sea Ray and we get feedback and over those years they were able to help us grow by providing products that hit the mark for our customers and our markets at the right price points. In our industry and with Marine Max we've gone through some ups and downs over the years. In 2001 we had a little downturn in the economy and the combination of Marine Max and Sea Ray was probably one of the best strengths through that. They were able to adjust their product manufacturing. We were able to adjust our product and sales process and get through that time. They worked with us and we worked with them and as partners we came together. 2009 when there was a financial crisis it took drastic measures beyond anything anybody in the marine industry had seen. The combination of Marine Max's strength and then Brunswick and Sea Ray stepping up and doing whatever they needed to do was a powerful thing to get us through a tough time, but they were able to do it. It helped Marine Max and we helped Sea Ray get through that. And making decisions like that that helped both of us was what kept us together all these years. Since 1998 at Marine Max, we've had a lot of steady management in place, a lot of people that have been with us many, many years. Brunswick and Sea Ray have also had a lot of tenured team members, and over the years, through some of their management changes, they've done whatever it takes to reach out and engage us as a dealership to align themselves with what our goals were. But Brunswick backing of things and Sea Ray's support through it all has been great. When Sea Ray decided to make the change, only developing boats under 40 feet, it was tough on Marine Max and it was a big change, but through change like that can come a big opportunity. Sea Ray's new focus on below 40 feet, their new focus on their brand and luxury and their communication to their customer, and their ultimate focus on the Sea Ray name below 40 is only going to help us. Luckily, we're positioned to have other products above 40 feet. You know, Sea Ray's a very aspirational brand. Everybody wants to own a Sea Ray, and that continues and will continue. Their commitment to under 40 feet with the brand messaging, their commitment to new models, their commitment to transitioning to the outboard models where it makes sense, constant attention to innovation and connected systems now with Sea Ray. It's been great to see their focus on under 40 feet. Well, in the future, I think we can expect a lot from Sea Ray. They've shown their commitment to new product and innovation, and we see boats like the 400 SLX, probably one of the most popular and innovative products of its time. Look at the 320 Sundancer that's now hitting the market. We'll continue to see more and more of that with the SLX line and all the different things they're doing. One of the other things we'll see from Sea Ray is their continued commitment to our customers. No matter what, they stand behind their products. They take care of the customer. They work with us us to take care of the customer. Marine Max continues to grow and Sea Ray is a big part of helping us to continue to grow. And that will be a driving force for Marine Max's growth and the Sea Ray product line growth. Looking into the future, we can expect a lot of exciting things from Sea Ray.